Welcome to PrintDAT, the report component for the Delphi VCL that can create reports in as little as five seconds. Uh, in this example, we have a simple DB grid uh, that's connected to a uh, client data set component, and we're going to see how easy it is to print the grid. Now, all we have to do is drop a uh, PrintDAT component onto the form and add a single line of code to a uh, event like a uh, button click event or to a uh, menu item event. We can modify the report uh, layout at uh, runtime or design time. So at design time we just have to click on the print add component and we've got a report. We can see uh, we've got a species number, category, common name, species name, length, length in inches and notes column. And if we zoom in here, we can see our uh, notes column is 20 characters crossed and it's wrapped onto two lines. Uh, that's the default settings for printing uh, memo columns. And we can easily change that at design time or run time by going into the report options. And we change it from 20, let's make it say 50, and five lines. And we can view it again, and we see our notes is much larger. And this first column over here is the report ID column, which is automatically added by PrintDAT. It's just a uh, sequence number, and we can easily hide that. And we can hide any other column we want. So let's, let's give that a try. We go back into Report Options, and we go into the uh, Styles page, and we just hide the number report number column and let's hide the length in centimeters we don't want to see centimeters and we preview it again and our columns are now gone the uh, report ID is gone and the centimeters column is now gone so let's spruce this report up a little bit and put in some titles and we go to the titles and let's put in a page title uh, bio life report. Put a few lines underneath it. And these memo column, these uh, report titles can be any number of lines we like. So let's put in a large one for the page footer. Uh, this is a very large amount of text for the page footer. Now all of this can be done at design time like we're doing now, at runtime through the report options, and also through a um, runtime event uh, using code. So let's preview it again. Now we've got our uh, BioLife title at the top, and if we scroll down we see our uh, text at the bottom uh, of the uh, every page. Now each of these columns, I should have mentioned before, is the sizes are automatically calculated by PrintDAT. So there's not going to be a much white space in any of the columns. Uh, it does this because it wants to optimize the number of columns you can get on a page of the report. Now PrintDAT can print an unbelievable 100 pages across. So if you have super wide data sets or grids, uh, you can print up to 100 pages, pardon me, uh, 100 pages uh, across. So you have uh, enough, it can generate enough uh, paper to wallpaper your office wall with a grid that is, let's say, a thousand columns across and 10,000 rows down. So print that, can print that. So we're done at design time for now. So let's close this, exit this, save it. Now at uh, runtime, we of course need to add code to print this report. So let's go to the print button and add a single line of code, pdt print dat one dot print semicolon. And let's compile this. and go to our uh, simple report. 
which we've been working on. Here's our grid. You notice the uh, notes column was not printable by the standard TDB grid, but print that can print it. We hit the print button, and here is our report at runtime. We've got our notes column nice and wide on five lines. We've hidden the uh, line number column. We've hidden the uh, length in centimeters column. And we have our text at the bottom of the, uh, each page. So at, we're at uh, runtime. Let's go into the report options. And if we want those uh, columns back, let's say centimeters length, we can put that back. Uh, titles, we can also change, of course, at runtime. So let's put another line in here. And our page footer, let's do the same thing. Let's put in some change it just to show you how easy it is to do it at runtime or design time and there we go we've got our uh, report title pardon me the page titles changed we've got our uh, length in centimeters back in and we have our uh, page footer text back in there modified so it's really that easy to generate a report literally within five seconds because all of the work is done for you at runtime by PrintDat. So, no. so that's it for this example and we'll get to the next example which, which is interesting. A really powerful feature of PrintDat is that a single PrintDat component on a single form can print all of your tables in your database, including your SQL queries. That's because PrintDat is a dynamic report writer. It builds the reports on the fly within a fraction of a second. If you want to print 100 tables from your database, you don't have to resort to designing 100 different reports. A single PrintDat component can do it all. Not only can it print all of your tables, but can also export the data to CSV files or print the report to a text file. Now, how is that for flexibility? Let's try it out. Here, our database is composed of about a dozen or so XML files, but these files could just as well be from a Nexus DB database, Elevate DB, DBI SAM, uh, Microsoft SQL Server. It doesn't matter where the data is coming from, from the database, or what type of database it is, as long as it's a T data set compatible. Now this is the same print that component printing all of these uh, tables. Let's go to customer. Print the customer. And let's export this to a, pardon me, uh, print this to a text file. And this, uh, we can specify a number of lines per page and the page width. So let's change the page width to 222 characters across so that the entire report appears across the page. Alrighty, let's print this and let's view what it looks like. And here we go. We have all the columns across and all of the numbers here are formatted, right, justified, centered in the columns. And it looks pretty darn good. And here's the second page. And this uh, text file can be zipped up and you can email it to someone and they can simply open it up in a text editor like Notepad or in this case Notepad++ and they don't need a special report viewer. So you could print off a thousand page report and it's not going to take that much space and it will load pretty darn fast in Notepad++. We tried it up to a thousand page, no, oh, 14 14,000 page report and it loads in about three seconds. 
Okay, now let's export this to a CSV file and import it into a spreadsheet. That was fast. Now we are opening up our spreadsheet. And here's the import page. Now print that can specify what columns you want, pardon me, what types of quotes you want to use, whether you want to use commas for delimiters or tabs for delimiters, but the uh, default settings works great. And here it is in the spreadsheet. We have the column titles across the top. Uh, we could have excluded that in the report options window, but we decided to include it here. So this is a very easy way to export data from any of your tables into a spreadsheet. We can, of course, hide uh, the columns we don't want to export as well. That can be done quite easily. Now this demo program is available for download from our website. Uh, you can get a print at light uh, through Get It. Or you can also download the component, the uh, print at light component from our website. Uh, for more information, you can contact us at www.graybarsys.com. Thank you.